Kirkugaina 2030 is an initiative established in 2018 by Dingle Hub, NEWKD, Marai and DSP Networks to enable and support the societal changes needed to transition to a low carbon society. Um, what we have discovered on the journey is a community rich in innovation with many initiatives already underway and many people eager to be part of positive change. Uh, we set up a sustainable energy community uh, as part of the SCA Sustainable Energy Authority of Ireland's schemes and within that then um, we had a spin-off of a particular sustainable energy community for the farming community, West Kerry Farmers. It's over 100 of them involved. And this is exactly the model that I think is envisaged, that you get groups together that have common challenges and then they work together. What we've seen emerge from the project is a much broader and wider diffusion of sustainability. Um, so things that we hadn't envisaged at the start was the development of a mentorship program. And so now you have mentors in the community who can advise others. Uh, and also the, the interest in the farmers in uh, developing an anaerobic digestion feasibility study. So these were the, the really uh, beautiful things to see emerging and mushrooming from a project that weren't in the initial uh, plan, but they just tapped into the enthusiasm that was down there on the peninsula. The Cardlin um, Popular Shagun, Hoyunimer Surveys, I guess Honig Fairmore the Gaxortan, Fairmore Kyrig, Fairmore Stock, I guess Homalishin, Gnovinter and Fobel, with Simica, Ekursi, Finiv in Anote. We are engaging with farmers in Dingle to learn from their perspective what helps them in the innovation process, what hinders it, and how we can create successful opportunities for mutual collaboration towards a more sustainable future. My role involves going out on farm and looking at the grass management practices that they have in place, seeing if there's anything that we can improve and taking good ideas that are working on some farms and that we can use them then on, on other farms and all with the aim of making the farmer more sustainable long term. Tagusk is involved in two initiatives. Uh, the first one is the Ambassador Farm Pilot Project and the second is the EU funded Plutus Project. The overall vision here is to integrate smart technologies into pasture-based farming systems, be they dairy, beef or sheep production. This is based on the premise that smart technologies can have a positive effect on the management of the farm. The grass measurement is very good actually because we, we can anticipate before we run out of grass or we have too much grass on the farm for ourselves as well, as well as being sustainable to use the least amount of fertilizer and to make proper use of our slurry in trying to keep the indices on the soil right for to grow the proper amount of grass. I got involved in the ambassador program through a meeting that was held in town to inform about what was happening with the Dingle Hub see how we could be involved in it because it was about the farming and to see how could we uh, be sustainable in all this. In terms of how I got involved with the West Kerry Dairy Farmers Sustainable Energy Community, SEC, um, basically it was through a neighbour of ours, uh, Dinny Galvin. He had for quite some time had this idea of setting up a sustainable energy community using uh, through the SEAI, the Sustainable Energy Authority of Ireland, I felt if I could help, um, I was happy to do that. So I, I, I joined up and I'm the secretary now and um, there are a huge group of farmers signed up and there are four farmers on the committee. So it's a privilege, really, to, to work with them. Dear Dre Ashmi, would I, would I like to be part of a farm ambassador project? So look, of course, I, I wanted to be involved and seven farmers selected in as farm ambassadors and uh, again we, we had weather stations on the farms and we had sensors in the fields to take the temperatures and you know we had the rainfall so you actually had a had a local weather forecast outside your front door and to me that was you know that was a very important thing as well the challenge then is to embed uh, this information generated from the sensor technologies into the wider agri-food community. 
and this is where the Plutus project comes in. The idea behind Plutus is to rebalance agri-food systems in a more sustainable way, a system which works for the environment, for society and naturally for the producer. This is a EU-funded Horizon 2020 project with partners across 13 European countries, so, so there is a lot of innovation out there. Those things we're doing right, we can share across with other partners as good practices to, to, to learn from one another. And that's a very important aspect, this learning, uh, mutual learning, horizontal learning uh, experience is a very important aspect of our work. The aim of Biorbic is to support a just transition to the bioeconomy so farmers and rural communities benefit in the move to a more sustainable society. By working with farmers on the ground, our legacy will be to encourage farmers and rural communities to learn about the bioeconomy, but also facilitate bioeconomy development plans that involve farmers and include their knowledge in development plans. The Skin Project is very interested in this concept of the ACUS. And the ACUS is a term that arose in the context of the European Union. And it means Agricultural Knowledge and Innovation System. And what that simply means is that surrounding every actor or person in a short food supply chain is an ecology of knowledge. So people have access to particular types of knowledge. They have understandings of particular types of knowledge. They know about the existence of particular types of knowledge, but they're also cut off from other ecologies of knowledge. So what we try to do is we try to build bridges and collaborations between people who are operating in different contexts so that they can bring their knowledges together and learn from each other. We're about to commence our energy master plan now in about two weeks. And hopefully of the 120 dairy farmers on the peninsula, hopefully look, I'd say the majority of them will be involved. You know, there is, there is a growing, it's, it's small, but there's a growing understanding in the farming community and farming sector. That the best way I suppose to deal with it is to be proactive about it and, you know, take on that challenge and try and deal with it, which is what I think the farming community are doing here. We have this lovely opportunity for a combination of, of rural development together with climate action. I hope to see the Ningle Peninsula as a showcase for quite a lot of the rest of the country because of the initiatives that are, that are in the mindset of the people right now. Once we develop them and progress them on, I think we'll be in a great place back here. The Dingle as a peninsula can be part of the solution here the farmers working on the ground, the different projects working with Chagas and working with uh, the UCC with the Munster Technological University. Dingle and the peninsula itself, not just the town itself, but the peninsula itself could become a, um, a really fantastic quality of life for people into the future. So the other town of Fenamori, Hanig Mido and Talav, Big Mido the Lavashkani and Talav the Egan, and Talav is the Ganarkui, Shinei Malahal.